so that we don't feel like we have to deal with it or to have it upset us. Very complicated, not the purpose of today's presentation. What is the purpose of today's presentation is to get you to understand that you have 100% control over the decisions that you make. And every decision that you make, you have the capacity to influence it. Decision making is a very simple process. There's a stimulus, we process the stimulus, we process the information, we consider what our choices or alternatives are, and then we select an option. Some of you, when you got to the lunch bar, looked at the lunch bar, saw the salad stuff. You were hoping for burgers. Because you're not necessarily a salad person, you chose to do without eating. Or maybe just go for the cookies. I think they kind of threw you off. <laughs> but see, every time something happens, you're going to react to that in certain ways. Now, when we look at the decision-making process, we're going to be looking at three different kinds of decision-making. Autonomic decision-making, intentional decision-making, and passive acceptance decision-making. Autonomic decision-making has to do with your body. It is all of the processes that are going on automatically, and it doesn't require a conscious choice from you to be able to manage it. So for example, you're breathing, your heart, your heart does not depend upon you saying, okay, I think it's time to have a meat now. The heart will take place and it does what's doing. You know, there's a, goes through the same decision-making process. When the body responds, the heart knows that there are certain messages that the body receives about the blood oxygen levels, and that tells it how fast it needs to pump or not pump. And so even within the body, it's going through this process of identifying stimulants and then reacting to that stimulus. 